Hi all, welcome to SI Cloud Trainings. My name is Shali Nerala. Let's get started with Telbumi Atomsphere Basic Training Day 11 session. The agenda plan for today is we'll discuss about tricat shape, process call shape, mail connector. We'll see the difference between notify and message shape, and we'll then discuss exception shape. Right? So let's get started. So here let's create our folder day 11 right day 11 so now in our today's kind of errors we can expect in a process and how we handle them right so for this let's reuse a process which is already created i'll copy this particular process to day 11 folder so this is being copied this is done so let's open the process So I'll rename this particular exception handling. Okay, this is done. And let me align this properly. Okay. So this is done. Now, in real time, you can expect many errors to come in a process. Right? So what you'll have to do is you have to notify the concerned team about the error. Right? So now, Let's see here if I can get this error. So let me give invalid credentials here. Okay. And also make sure that return application error responses is unchecked. Only then your process will fail. Right. So now if I execute this particular process. See your error, right? So now what we'll have to do, we have to capture this and notify the end user. So what Boomi provides us is something called a try catch. You'll see here retry count can have maximum up to five, right? So we'll discuss more about retry count and failure trigger. You'll see document errors and all errors. So document errors will capture only the errors related to a document. Whereas all errors captures the process level errors and document errors as well. Right. So now because we have seen a connection error which comes as a process errors, we have to use the failure trigger as all errors here. And based on the retry count you provide here, it retries so many times connecting to the application and then will give you the error response. Right. So we'll again discuss more about retry count a little later. But now let's say all errors and say OK. So this have to be placed before to the main execution steps. So I'll place this here. So the try catch shape captures process level errors or document level errors for one or more documents that fail during an execution. The try catch shape must be placed before to the main processing shapes in your process. Right. The try catch shape sends documents down the try path to be processed and the documents that fail are caught and are then sent to catch path. Right. So now if I have to capture that error, what am I going to do? I'll use a message shape here. I'll use a message shape here. Let me give this as the error message is. So I'll go to document property and go to metadata here base and say try catch message here. Right. So with this I can capture the exact error message and I'll place a stop shape. Right. So let's execute this now. So see now your process is success and the error message you can see here. It username path connection error. And let's now see document errors. So if you remember we have seen in Salesforce name is a mandatory field. Name is a mandatory field. And so I'll go to. 
two empty name rows. So these two particular rows have to fail for me. These two particular documents have to fail for me, right? So also we have created one external ID, account external ID, right? So we are not mapping that particular field as well. Even that have to fail. So now if I execute this particular process, So see now, this has been captured. So it says required fields are missing and field names are name and account external ID. So this is expected. But now if you observe something here to Salesforce, I'm having three documents. Right. But here in catch block, I can see only one document, only the first document. So why is this happening? If you see here, the try catch is placed before to the source, right? So now if I place the try catch, let me remove this here. Let me place this try catch next to source. I'll call this document errors because we have to capture our document errors. I'll place this before to the map. I'll copy this. So let's now execute this. So see now. If I click on shape source data, I'll see three documents, right? So what this try catch does here after the source, it sends each document individually to the try shape try path. And once the try path is executed, if there is any error, the document will be sent to the catch path, right? So this is how it works. So you can see individual error captured for each document. So name and external ID missing and for third document we have name. So it should only show the account ID external ID, right? So here it shows only this particular field missing, right? So actual working of this try catch shape and how it is actually sending each document down the try and catch path will be discussed in detail in advanced training. Okay, so now let's go back and now say it had captured the document errors but now say i have the connection error here so let me give a connection error here let's execute this so see your invalid login so the, your process has failed because your try catch failure trigger is set to document errors. It has not captured the process errors, right? So now if I place this try catch before to database here. So let's place this here. And let's execute now. So this inner try catch failure trigger is set to document errors and outer try catch failure trigger is set to all errors. So see now the connection first reaches out to the nearest try catch and because this is not captured it goes back to the next try catch the outer try catch and it gets then it then gets captured here okay so now you'll be able to see that try catch message has been captured invalid username password so this is how the try catch shape works so if the failure trigger is set to document errors there are few errors which